Hey, it's Shane with Prompter Guide, and today I'm actually just going to go through a little bit of the new Midjourney website. This is um, sort of an ever-evolving project, and that's obvious because it's such a big one, but a new update rolled out, and I saw some people were a little upset that they couldn't like batch download and stuff like that, but really it's it's pretty much the same. It's just a different user interface, so you know, I just wanted to run through a couple things that you could do quickly. So for example, when you first log in, you get to this page, sort of a community public kind of thing. You roll over, you could see usernames, prompts, you can like them, and you could even download images, report if it's something, you know, pretty bad, um, or copy the prompt and stuff. So anyway, let's go to my images though. So here you could see, you know, images that you've made over the years and just keep scrolling through. But it's actually pretty easy to work with. So for example, um, let's say two days ago, I made a bunch of these images and I can click on that and say, download all, right? And I can also publish them because um, with my pro plan, I can hide or unhide things from the public. So um, the other thing you could do though, this is all upscales. So if I go over to the filter thing over here, click that little icon and you can see upscales is selected, but I would like grids. So you hit grids and now you have all these grids of images, right? And so what you could do from there is go ahead and, you know, today I made tons of grids so I can click that and download all, right? But you could also search. So if I scroll back up to the top, I'm going to go here and just type, uh, let's see, city, right? So today I did a bunch of stuff with city, but also two days ago I did some things with city. And so what you could do is click that and download all those. So super easy to work with the other thing that soon you'll be able to do it says coming soon so you'll be able to type in your imagine codes right up here that's pretty cool so anyway that's about it i think it's pretty easy to download them you just have to learn how the new interface works right and so that's about it i'll see you later